Uh, I was pretty happy. You know, it was, it was a fresh start for me, new start for me. I was excited to get here, and I wanted to get here right away, and they got me here right away to get started so I can get acclimated to the team and get used to the team. I'm just blessed to be here, honestly. What's your first impression? Oh, I love, I love Detroit. I love, I love the coaches. I love the uh, the players. The vibes here are uh, a lot better. I love it. It's just I'm thankful to be here, honestly. What's your first thought? How you might feel with this offense? Uh, I think I feel very well. I think uh, JG got something going good here, and I think um, me coming here will also help him, and me being here will they also help me as well. Coach Campbell called it a fresh start for you. Yes, he said he hopes to see what you can do, give him a, a, a new opportunity. You know, kind of what are you looking forward to with this new opportunity, and how long do you expect it to get? Uh, honestly, I'm just, I'm just blessed to show what I can do, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to show what I can do. And I'm, I'm going to show what I can do. I'm just blessed to be here, honestly. How long do you think it'll take you to get acclimated within the system? Oh uh, well, I'm already uh, down. I already got the system kind of down. Uh, I've been in, been in early, getting in early, staying late. Pretty much got the playbook down already. So you guys talk about having a chip on their shoulder. You kind of feel like you got that. There's just some people who gave up on you. Oh yeah, yeah, you for sure. You damn right. I'm. I got a chip on my shoulder for sure. It's time for me to show it though, and I'm ready to show it. What do you consider your best asset as a receiver? Everything. I can do everything. But I'm, I'm finally gonna get to show it. I'm just blessed. Are there reasons for you to show that with the Jets and what can you maybe do here to show that more consistently? For showing it with the Jets, you probably had to talk to them with that. You know, I, I kind of got no control in there. I did everything I could there, but I'm a Detroit Lion now, and I'm just blessed to be here to show what I can do. And they got faith in me, they believe in me, so they, they give me a lot more confidence. Tell, tell me how much that means to you, that they have that faith in you, they believe in you, and how big is that chip on your shoulder? It's the chip real big, you know. Finally get to go out here and show what I can do and play every position I, I want to play and just get to do everything I want to do, just not some stuff. So I'm thankful. The one thing you have, you've had is that you've had a lot of work for this. Year. How beneficial is that going to be for you now that you're here? Oh, it's good. I mean, i kind of been in the league going on four years now, so I kind of know how the game is. And the game is slowing a lot, slowing down a lot. So I'm just ready. I'm ready to go. How eager are you for your first time Man, I'm eager. <laughs> I'm eager, honestly. I want to. I want. I'm gonna try to get the first game, honestly. So, I'm just excited and blessed. Have you, have you pictured that moment? And, and, and what does it look like in your mind if you have? Man, I'm pitched, pictured it every way, every really every route. So, I'm just ready to show it, honestly. So, the month. Y'all have to wait and see. <laughs> what did uh, what did coach or, or anybody in the organization say to you about this opportunity and how they wanted you to approach it? Just attack it, honestly. It's a big opportunity for me. It's a, it's a lot out there. It's a lot of spots out there. I'm just ready to go out there and show what I can do and just earn one, honestly. You feel like it's a clean slate? Anything oh, that happened sure. before is before sure. this is The new. passing is in the past. You know, I always worry about the future, and the present and the future. That's all I'm worried about. You spoke about the confidence in your skills and the chip on your shoulder. What kind of player do you think you can be here? Anyone they want me to be, and I think I can do everything, honestly. So I think I can do it all, honestly. Yeah, what do you think it is? I left them in the past, so I'm grateful for the opportunity they gave me, but I just rather not just discuss or talk about the Jets anymore. I'm just focused on the future and focused on Detroit Lions. So, so you talk any questions about Jerry Goff? I love him. Great quarterback. I'm just, I'm glad to be here with him. I watched him a few growing up, so I'm just excited, honestly. Because I'm not putting the car before the horse, but when you look at one thing, when they said you're coming here, the possibilities, you ain't making no vacation plans past February because no. there could be something here. Tell me about that aspect of coming here, knowing what the potential could be down the road. I was just excited, man. Um, I trained with uh, Trinity Benson in the offseason, so I kind of asked him about how it was here. And so he kind of told me how it was here, so I was excited. And then when it finally happened, I was super excited. So I'm just thankful, honestly. How long is this in the works? I don't know. You had to discuss with him. I don't really know even know. I was just I was just working out training, just getting ready for the op new opportunity, honestly. What did he tell you about what it was like here? He said it's a good, it's a good environment. All the players are good, all the coaches are good. It's a great place to be real around. The organization is great. And you love Detroit, honestly. What about Dan Campbell? Is he a build or what you thought he was? I didn't think he was going to be that big, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's, he's huge. He's, he looked like a, uh, a strength coach to me, but you know what I'm saying? I'm excited to be a part of the uh, Detroit Lions and have him as my coach. And one liners, he comes up with some crazy things to say, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He definitely does. Anything crazy? I'm ready for him to share that with y'all. Yeah, we got with some for Speak to the frustration level maybe over the last four months. Like, I know you asked for a trade last summer, so 
recommend the well, frustration, I really didn't have no frustration, you know. But to be here, I'm just thankful. Like I said earlier, I'm thankful to be here. I'm blessed, and I'm just ready for the opportunity, honestly. I think a lot of people would say, okay, that's all I got. Everything you said is just probably true to the heart, but you have the intangibles. And why do you feel so much confidence that it can work here, especially why it didn't in New York? I feel like I really don't got no answer for that, but I just feel like it can work here because, you know, everybody believe in me. And it's a fresh start, clean slate, and I can show, get him a impression of me, a first impression of me. So I'm just excited. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're a little late. Just, uh, Jared, go up. How has he welcomed you? What's his you know, attention to detail been like? How, what did you learn from him early on? I know it's been early. Well, when, it first, when the trade first happened, he was the first person to hit me up. We talked about 20, 30 minutes, and um, he just told me how the players are, are around the bit, how the coaches are. And, um, man, he just we just got in the playbook right away. And so he got me ready to... Uh, for day one, honestly. Was that a surprising phone call today? What does it say about him when he reaches out to you every and spends 30 minutes talking? It means he believes in me. It means that he see a lot in me. And to have a quarterback like that, you know, that gives you a lot more confidence, like I said earlier. So I'm just thankful. So do you, a couple you, more guys? You know the scheme. You're comfortable with the playbook already. What's your next step here in the next couple of weeks before you get to the joint practice? Really, really just know the playbook in and out. Know every position. Um, I just want to know. I want to know what the quarterback thinking also as well. So. I just want to know every detail of the playbook. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings. Good to be out here with your friends, you know, running around. Um, it's just nice having a bunch of guys healthy, man. I mean, that's just it's f it's fun to see guys, like, that have been working to get back. They're finally back. They get to come out here. They get to play. They don't got to worry about. I mean, it's just it's, it's fun. I know there's a lot of exterior excitement, external excitement. Yeah. Taylor, to what extent do you guys kind of I would say we're aware of it, but uh, I've, I've probably said this ad nauseum. It's like none of that matters to us because us as professionals, we're going to come out here, we're going to do our job every day. And, you know, today we had rundowns, play action screens. We're going to focus on that tomorrow. I think we have red zone. Like, then we're, we're going to focus on that. Like, that's what we do as professionals. We come out here and we do our work. Um, all that stuff is great, but that doesn't change what we have to do to come out and, and, and perform. So um, kind of keep tunnel visioned on that. Um, you know, be a professional about your business because uh, the hype the hype doesn't make us play any better. Yeah, Taylor, what's it like to have your five guys together? It's only practice. That's kind of what I was, I was alluding to. It's just fun to have all of our guys out there because, you know, we become really, really close, uh, great friends. And, like, it sucks when one of your guys – is in the training room and doesn't get to be out there with you. Even if it's at a limited, limited capacity, you know, whatever they're asked to do. Um, so it's just fun. I mean, we got a great room, our line room, our chemistry is amazing. So uh, it's just nice having everybody out there. And then more guys means more rest when Hank's running us through the shoots. So that's good too. A lot of you guys block more to new running guys. Yeah. Offense looks a little different this year. Um, I mean, I would say as an offensive lineman, um, the tight ends affect us a little bit more because in the run game we're we're, we're working with them. Um, it doesn't matter who who's running the ball or who's catching the passes because we're going to do our job the exact same how we're coached to do it. Um, not to say that it doesn't matter, but like we're going to hit our run game angles. And no matter what back is in the game, he should be hitting his run game angle or his landmark too. Um, obviously, they have different skill sets, so we're probably going to ask them to do different things, I imagine. It's probably a better question for Ben. Um, but like, we're, we're going to do our job up front. And then there, there is a chemistry involved. I mean, I'm sure that would be a better question for Jared, like chemistry with receivers and, and running backs, you know, catching screens out of the backfield, whatever it may be. Um, but excited to have those guys know they're great players and uh yeah it just kind of goes back to the first question is it's like let's let's focus on our job and us getting better as individuals and, and like our offensive line as a unit and then that'll help the, the team and all that chemistry will come with time well i've played with graham so i have chemistry with him he's one of my best friends um I, for anybody that knows Graham, his sense of humor is 
very much his own and, and unique. Um, and I think it's good to have guys who have experience who can kind of keep things light around the room. Um, so that's one thing I love about him. Like, he's, he's just funny. He's, he's a funny guy. And then he, he has that experience and he has that position versatility. Um, so we can ask him to do a bunch of different things uh, along the offensive line. And, you know, if he needs to play guard one week or play center one week, or, you know, if he ends up being a starter, like, I, I don't know. Um, you know, me selfishly as a friend, I love having him here. Like you said, he's one of my best friends. And then it's just good to have, like, veteran guys around here who have experience who can kind of keep things light because um, we've got a young team. First impressions on Colby? What type of guy he is? Uh, I mean, I don't want to explain this. I feel like he has he has like a like a quiet a quiet like confidence about himself. Um, sometimes you'll see young guys come in and they're, and they're kind of timid. Um, he does not have that, and, and he's he's gonna make mistakes along the way. But like Hank's gonna love it if you make a mistake, but you're going full speed. Um, so I like he has that kind of quiet confidence about him, um, which you need to have on the offensive line. Um, and then. To piggyback off that, I mean, I just haven't had a ton of time to get to know him, honestly. I like him. I think he's a good fit, but we need more time in our break time when we're in the O-line room eating our gushers and, you know, oatmeal cream pies to be able to make fun of each other to get to know him. But I think he's a good addition. He's going to mesh in really well. Um, but I just gonna need to get some more time to, to get to know him. You sure. mentioned adding the veterans and adding health in comparison to last year. What's the potential yeah. for the line, just knowing really how good you guys are running for last year? I mean, for me, you know, having been here and there's every, every season that's like, oh, look at the projected line, what it could be, it's never happened. So that's just, I just want to get day to day, let's come out of the day, everybody had a good day, let's come out healthy, um, just trying to get better as a group. So it'd be awesome to get to week one and, and we have our projected, I don't even know if we have projected starters yet because we're shuffling around so much, but our projected starters just healthy and improving. Because um, ultimately the potential on paper, as with the entire team and the expectations, it doesn't mean anything right now, you know? So um, that would just be my goal for our group is like, let's just get guys improving. Let's, let's stay healthy. Let's take care of our bodies. So hopefully we can have our whole unit ready for, for week one and whatever we're asked to do, we do it. With that being said, do you see a projected starter like CJ get carted off in the middle of practice? Yeah. Where does your mind go and, and how do you have to just quickly refocus compartmentalize? I mean, first I would say I, 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 don't, I don't know what happened, so I don't want to speculate on like what happened. Um, and then that's also unfortunately part of our game, but especially for, especially the defensive backs and the guys who have got to know him really well, um, like that's gotta suck to see a friend go down. Hopefully it's nothing major, hopefully he's okay. Um, it's the nature of our game, which sucks. Um, but like the NFL is, it's it's just it's bigger than any one player, and we care about the players. But like we have to we have to go out there, we have to keep practicing. Like, you know, we have to move the drill down, and we got to keep going because um, it's it's urgency right now. So, um, hopefully, he's going to be okay. I think a lot like I think he brings a lot of confidence to that DB room. I mean, that guy is a, He's a talker, and that's what DBs do. And he's going to make those guys around him better. And he's a confident player. Like, we've even seen that in walkthrough where it's like, well, that's not a walkthrough tempo, but it is what it is. Um, so I hope he's OK, because I think he could bring a lot of value. I know everybody knows that he could bring a lot of value to our team. Um, but I mean, it's just the nature of the game. How was your summer? It was good. It was a good summer. I just, no, nah, I was just at the house. I was just training the whole time with the family, cooling, chilling, whatever it was. So. Feel like you're uh, already kind of in the swing of things, or it's gonna take a couple days. Or? 
I feel like I'm in the swing of things. Um, I feel like I tried to come in as prepared as possible so I could just come out and jump on the field and be ready to go. But, um, you know, obviously it'll take a couple of days to get everything jailed together, but I feel like I'm pretty good right now. What does that entail, getting as prepared as possible? Uh, like I was talking about, just training and making sure I'm hydrated, eating good. Uh, I was going through the playbook and stuff like that, making sure my memory is refreshed when I got back. So just basic stuff. Last time we talked to you, you were talking about tweaking your diet and kind of changing your body. Just how do you feel that went for you since last time we talked to you? And how are you feeling now? I feel like it went really good. Uh, last time I was at a podium, I was about 327. I'm 305 now, so I feel a lot better, um, a lot lighter and faster on the field. So, And I still have the same strength, so I feel really good. I feel like I'm giving you stamina, too, if you're like playing lighter, getting more stamina. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, being able to play more snaps, that was really the goal, you know, being able to be more consistent, playing more snaps on the field, you know. So, yeah, all of that goes in together. Yeah. Is momentum from season to season a real thing in this sport, or is it ground zero starting over again? Uh, ground zero. I would say ground zero starting all over again. Cause, I mean, that's why we have training camp every year. Um, but I would say it's ground zero every year. You know, you just got to start from the bottom, work our way back up to where we need to be. Hey, I mean, two years in for you, entering your career, what is it that you want to prove, you want to show in your first season? Consistency. Consistency is the word of the offseason for me. Uh, I just want to show that I can be consistent every other, every play, every down. Um, it's just as simple as that. I just want to be more consistent on the field, you know, be able to show that I can do these things, um, you know, just having trust in my coaches. So. You feel like you approached that level last season, maybe the second half as well? Yeah, I did, uh, I did feel like I was somewhat getting there. Um, I didn't, I didn't, last year was up and down for me. Um, I didn't per se like it, but I didn't dislike it. Um, this year, I'm looking to be able to be who I want to be on the field and be able to show everybody, you know, what I can really do, so. What does that guy look like at, at your best? What does it mean to be in for this defense? Uh, I just had to see September 7th. Oh, and the defense as a whole, where we had kind of been up and down last season, and took probably most of the criticism. How different do you think this unit is just from day one after what took place during the offseason? I feel like our mentality is completely different. You know, we want to be able to create an identity for ourselves, just like a lot of defenses in the past have done over the league. Um, you know, they have nicknames and stuff like that. We just want to be able to put on a performance every Sunday. You know, this is who we are. You know, we're coming to play every Sunday. So. You had to kind of label that mentality right now. One? I would say what we've been talking about lately is being violent, being violent, relentless. Those are our two words right now. You know, we're just going to keep building on that as that goes. But violence. And being relentless is what we, that's what we're banking on right now. What's the payoff for that? What's the payoff for that? W's. <laughs> W's. I think it was the Giants game last year. We kind of blew up like 10 or 11 pressures. You got uh -huh. them coming to town in a week or two. Is that kind of like a measuring stick to see where you're at heading into the season? Uh, as far as the joint practices yeah, like and stuff? Yeah, against them again, a team you had some success against personally last year. Uh, well, I, I, I would say it would be, you know, any type of joint practice we had like that to be able to see, you know, going against anybody um, different than our, you know, teammates to be able to see where we measure up, it would be really good. Um, you know, we were excited to, have to, to go against the Giants too. Um, but I feel like anybody we go against that's not teammates is a good measurement for us. At what point did you kind of commit to making those offseason changes? Yeah, was there a conversation or anything on the tape that said, yeah, I can do this full time? It was really after that, um, after the last game. I knew before then I was like, I got to make some changes. I want to make some changes to myself. But um, really, that last game from the day after that, I was just like, yeah, let's go ahead and get this done. So. You talk about the identity of this defense. Um, and Taylor Decker was just saying someone like CJ Gardner Johnson can just bring a lot of confidence mm -hmm. to this group. Obviously, you haven't seen him like in game action. Mm -hmm. What does that do to you guys just to see him go down just in day two of camp already? Just a blow to the defense. Uh, you know, I'm just, I really didn't see what happened or what went on, but, um, I, you know, I'm just hoping the best for CJ. I don't really know how serious it is, how unserious it is, but, you know, I'm just hoping the best for CJ. Um, and I'm just leave it right there. Your first impressions of him, obviously not talking about the injury, but what did he bring to this defense? Taylor uh, was kind of just laughing yeah. about him talking. And no, yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a character. He brings a lot of confidence. Um, he does a lot of the talking and stuff for us on the defense. But uh, he brings a lot of confidence to his game, and it's just, CJ is CJ. You see it on the field. There's not much explaining to do, you know. So, but he brings a lot of confidence to, to the defense. I would say taking that professional approach that I had talked about before. 
Um, it kind of obviously took me a little bit to realize that, you know, to be able to hone in on it. But just being a professional about everything, your diet, your sleep, and it, it was just little stuff that I wasn't really taking care of that I really should have. And sleep was one of them. That was a huge thing for me. I was, you know, up late playing. I would just be up on my phone or whatever. But now I'm making sure I'm getting my hours in. I'm making sure I'm eating good. I'm hydrating. You know, I'm not just doing dilly-dally stuff. I'm making sure I'm recovering and stuff throughout the day. So it's just being a professional about everything you do inside the building and outside the building. How many hours are you doing? Sleep? I'm aiming for eight. I'm aiming for eight. With camp going on, you know, it varies, but I'm aiming for eight.